Hello, this is the Tech Girl 007 in here and today I will be showing you guys a way around how to actually view your DXF file so that you're 100% sure that your file is not missing any bits and that when it gets to your customer that it's in its perfect shape. Yeah, let's go. Right, okay, so we've got this listing in here and we're looking at this one in here in particular. So you can expect all of these calligraphies in DXF, EPS, SVG, and PNG form. But we are specifically concerned about DXF file. So once you have converted any of these, or this one in this case, into DXF, you want to make sure that it is nice and clear so then later on they can use it however they would like. There's a couple of ways that I made sure how I could see this as clear as possible so that my customers don't have any issues. First of all, to see how this looks as a DXF file and that it doesn't have any breakages on the sides here, there, Let's go and I'll show you how I checked it first of all, which I wasn't quite happy about. So let's go. Right, so as you can see, I've got the DXF viewer, which is a Chrome extension that I've downloaded. I'll show you in a minute how to download it if you want to use it anyway. What you do is choose the file that you would like to view and then it will show you how it should look like to your customers when they want to use it. So as you can see, it's not very clear. There are parts that are missing in here and I was quite confused to find this out. So I tried another program, which is an online DXF viewer. Right, so this one is called ShareCAD and the same way you'd like to select the file, just find the DXF one that you've got. Right, so here we go. This is how it looks and it's all in perfect condition. There's no bits missing. So this is how you'd make sure that your DXF file is all alright and ready for your customer to be working on. Okay, so now if you want to download the extension for Chrome, although I didn't like to view my DXF file in that particular program, but it may work for your files. So let's go ahead and I'll show you how to download it. I provided the link on my description box below. So get it from there and let's download it. So once you have the page open, you should see something as add to Chrome. Click on it and it should download it for you. Then you can find it from the top right hand side of the screen whenever you need it to use it. Right, so I hope you liked this tutorial and it was easy to follow. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share it. And I shall see you on my other video. Take care guys. Bye.